Hello everyone, this is Brent Luther speaking. Today I'm going to show you my process of creating this org commission for my client. Uh, I started with line joins and right now I'm working on the values underneath the line join. Uh, after I uh, finish painting underneath it, uh, and get the basic values that I want. I merge the layers and paint on top of the line join, like you see right now. I start to work on more details and get rid of the lines that I don't want. Okay, working on working on different areas. I. I like to uh, work from head to f feet twice before I start coloring. That's just my uh, workflow. Uh, it keep me. It just keep me efficient. Because you can you can easily get stuck in doing detail and. By having a basic workflow, you can tell yourself that it's time to do the color. All right, we are back in full res. Sorry for the low res in the beginning. Uh, I lost the full res version. You know. But right now we are back. I'm working on the muscle here. No belts. Working on his glove, shield, no, just some uh, going from one spot to another. Can't afford to get stuck in one one place. Right now, still working on the shield. Uh, those, I don't, I don't design those details right now. So, just some quick indication of the material. So it's ready for coloring. A lot thing, uh, what's going going to change. So. No need to be too detailed. I I put this word on another layer. Easier to make changes. Come back to the face. Okay. Right foot, shadows. Okay, right now, I'm I'm preparing for coloring. The technique I use for coloring is I is that I I duplicate the values, value painting, and I use color balance, curves, and hue and saturation to quickly get the color I want. Then I create a layer mask, fill it with black, and paint paint with white. That's how it works. Um, that's really the the best way I know to color my character. I don't I don't use uh, color layer, overlay layer, uh, or any other layer styles, uh, layer types, because. I don't know. They they just they just don't work for me. I need to get a result quicker, you know. As you can see, it's it's really close to what I want. At least at this point, it's really close to what I have in mind for this character. 
Okay, I the color concept was approved by the clients now, and I'm st I started to do more details. Pretty fun. Fun, fun, fun. Detailing is really fun. No. But I this this painting took me around ten hours to finish uh to do. So but I work only I only work two to three hours a day because I don't want to go too far just in case that my clients have have something to change. If it, if this is a personal opinion, I, I I'll I might be able to do it within uh, within two days, you know. Uh, this is my first time to do voice commentary, so I've done a lot of versions. Now I might repeat some stuff because I don't remember if I if I had said it before. So forgive me, please forgive me for that. Uh, yeah, my it's because my microphone doesn't work that well so I borrowed a headset to uh, so so I can get better voice you know? okay right now I'm working still jumping around I haven't started to, to do the little details yet okay right now i start to rest up the image so i can get more pixels to play with i use liquify to really frequent frequently because uh, it's really a time saver but And, but it's, uh, I don't know, some people just, you know, every time I use it, I feel I'm cheating myself, you know? but I had to be efficient, Try like, I had to try to stay away from it when doing my personal stuff. Okay, adjusting... Liquify 2 again. Right now I'm starting to experiment with some camouflage paint. Really cool. Peace. I'm a big fan of the orcs from Lord of the Rings, so I don't like giant teeth uh, for my orc, but I do love the bodies of um, World of Warcraft's orcs. So I I just kind of combine those elements that I like. Working on the hands, I'm I'm really not good at painting hands. So I got my reference on my iPad. It's a app called Handy, which is really handy for me. Um, I they they have those uh, models, 3D models of different poses, uh, hand poses. So you can just play around with lightings and at different angles 
uh, pretty useful. They start to work on the arm. The perspective is a little bit off and I think it stayed that way throughout the video. But I will show you the finished piece uh, after this spending uh, speed sp speed panning section and and I will show you the finished piece and I will explain what I did. Okay, working. Still haven't haven't start doing those little details yet. It's just cleaning up those uh, brush stroke. I find it easier to work on a clean surface. I don't know why. Just get me those energy. Okay, everything's nice and smooth now. Let's start to do some details on top. Working on details, uh, the clients want some trinkets, which is a pretty cool idea because uh, maybe this arc isn't kind of a sculpture, uh, a sculpture who make uh, sculpture he make sculptures out of bones, and he sell those sculptures to other orcs from his community. Uh -oh. Pretty sick, right? Uh, he's an orc after all. He got those huge hands which is not good for sculpturing. So I just I will add some simple decorations later. <laughs> Working on the face again. Really love I really love painting Ark's face because uh, it doesn't require you to smooth them, you know. Did I say that before? I don't know. We're working on a sword. Trying to figure out how it looks. I got a, I had a barbarian sword as reference. A picture of a barbarian sword, of course. But right now it looks like a st uh, a stone sword. It just it's kind of weird. I I need to adjust them later. Adjust it later. Working on the ear. Orc ear. Nose. So this video is 20 times the uh, the original speed. Uh, but it's still hard for me to do this uh, for straight 20 hour, uh, 20 minutes. Um, I have no idea what to talk about. We'll see. We will see. Working on the neck again. Muscles. Really love rendering muscles. 
trying to add some bends here. We love muscles. Working on the horns. More details on the shoulder plate. Some rusty color. Working on the boot. Try to design something different because uh, I don't usually design boots. You know, I just kind of ignore them. And but orcs boots can be really different because they got those giant foots, giant feet, right? Working on the right, right boot. Um, that's why I keep the sword on layers. Okay, adding details to the shoulder plate. I love doing this kind of detail. You, you don't need to do too much. You just adding some brush stroke there, and it look pretty cool. working on this I'm gonna add the trinkets I was talking about those decorations here it is I don't know what it is but I think that is the most uh, most complicated stuff an art can make <laughs> yes I still think Orcs are kind of stupid, you know, but they are violent, but I love them. They're like, uh, I don't know, they're like hawk. They, maybe they are clever sometimes, but you know, overall, they are stupid, but they can be badass. Yeah, they can be. Stupid and badass at the same time. <laughs> Another detail here. I don't know what it is, but, but pretty cool. We start to work on the background I guess okay start to work on the chest uh, the skull needs some more design I guess it was too simple and it doesn't look it didn't look like something that an orc might wear so, in orcs, it it just looks uncomfort uncomfortable. The more uncomfortable it looks, the better, because I don't think orc will care what they put on on themselves. Yeah, that's my my theory. I don't know. I, I'm I'm really not a fantasy fan you know i'm i'm more of a sci-fi guy but i love doing armor whatever uh, it, whatever what kind of armor it is whatever I can whatever kind you know okay right now finally start to fix the sword Try to make it look like a some iron sword, not not just a 
not not a sword made out of stones. Some scratches. Pretty cool. Rusty color again. I try to make them look brutal. Okay, try to fix some details on the hands. Um, at this point, I'm looking at my own hands for reference because the hands in Handy app just doesn't doesn't give you all those details. They you no, know, they the models are really simple and they use uh, normal maps to get the details which can deform a lot when the hands do some difficult poses so it's better to just use your own hand working on the nets and some more details and we are pretty close to the end here uh, at least uh, I'll be back again in real time and I'll explain to you what I did to finish the painting. It's still fixing. You know, there are, there are still a lot of uh, problems here, but uh, the those parts is just so boring to watch, you know, the last few hours because I'm trying to spot mistakes and try to fix them and and I use I can stare at them stare at this painting for like two hours and spot a mistake and fix it and the process wasn't that continuously uh, continuous so uh, it's not a good idea to record them Okay, working on the background, and I I just I use overlay over the layer overlay layer to adjust the lighting. Trying to keep uh, keep the light focus on the top. Hello everyone, we are back in real time. So this is where I left off in the video in a speed panning. So you can see uh, all those detail I did here. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Um, let me show you the let me show you the finished painting here. Some color adjustments more brush strokes I guess I add some textures here you can see some rusty textures and you know those dirt and metal texture on the sword as you can see and the canvas is wider now I kind of change the ratio here and you can see the foot I adjust the I adjusted the foot a little bit so the pose is more you know solid so this is what I did here and okay I think this is the end of this video and I really appreciate uh, appreciate you watching this. No. So please subscribe to my channel. And making video is hard, but I will make more if I got subscriptions. Because right now my channel is not that popular. <laughs> so thanks you, thanks. Thanks for watching and yeah, bye.